I'm going to move these um, and welcome back to my channel it is Saturday today and even though you just saw me sit down and enjoy a nice cup of coffee this video is going to be a productive vlog um, so I have a few things that I need to get done in the house um, we need to move our dresser from our room to Neil's room and Neil's room to our room because I'm transitioning Neil's room from a nursery to a toddler room and also the dresser <laughs> oh my gosh um, and also a dresser that is in Neil's room. It's not really being used to its full potential So I'm just going to move the dresser that is in our room to his room So, you know, we can use the dresser that is in his room because it's a lot bigger So uh, I'm probably just doing it for myself, but you know, we'll see And then I've also ordered groceries, so I'm going to pick that up at 4 or 4.30 My pickup time is between 4 to 5, so I'll do that And yeah, then also a few more things around the house Need to move the mirror, um, laundry all that stuff so let's get going okay let me first share what we are having for lunch today so today is a trader joe's freezer meal kind of lunch day um so i think this is what my husband is having this is the chana masala this is actually the chickpeas masala chole as you call it in, in india um and then i am having palak paneer so it's like cottage cheese mixed in with some spinach and uh, boiled together and with all the spices so it's really really nice i haven't had this before i've had this before it's really good this one i'm going to try today and then for Neil's lunch, I have this one egg left um, from our biryani that we had yesterday. So I'm going to cut this up for Neil. And then I also made some spinach muffins yesterday for him. So I'm going to heat them up a little bit so it's, you know, a little bit more soft now. And uh, then I also have some leftover um, like rice and lentils mixed together. So I'm just going to heat this up as well. So this is Neil's lunch. <laughs> just had our lunch and uh, we are not upstairs like I said swapping the dresses from our master bedroom to Neil's room so let me show you guys what I'm thinking so you can get a better idea so if you have seen some of my previous vlogs you know that this is the dresser that is in Neil's room and this also has whew, his changing table some other stuff and then some of these like these two and these two and then these two dra drawers they had stuff in them but these two are like not really used much so I don't feel like it's utilized to its full potential so this dresser which we have taken the drawers out because we want to move it we are going to move this in Neil's room I'm going to put the changing table on here on the top and uh, like his wipes and his diapers should go in the first one and then rest of his stuff that we put in the other other drawers I'm going to put them in the last three drawers I'm hoping that it should work and as you can see someone is really eager to help us <laughs> okay now we are trying to remove this um, changing pad from this dresser so we can put it on this one this changing pad was actually initially on this dresser this was a different color in our previous apartment but then when we moved here we bought this one from Neil's room and we stuck this on this dresser but now it needs to come off and I think it's stuck with the 3M tape and I hope that it doesn't like ruin the top of this dresser. We are doing our work and he is just roaming around and yes he has been walking for about two or three weeks. Everywhere! He does his walking practice in the evenings outside 
and all the people like all the kids who are playing outside they just come near him to play with him they're like oh Nila is so cute because he is yes Chupa. Chupa. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Neil? Neil? Hi. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes. High five. High five. He does that sometimes. changed the dresser <laughs> so this is officially Neil's dresser and his changing station now and let me show you a little bit of organization that I did for his um, changing station so these are Neil's diapers he is currently on number three right now I think and then we also have some in-between diapers so you know when he is only going to wear the diaper for like a few hours like one or two we just use these um, these are his nighttime diapers. These are size 4 and uh, I think it just keeps him um, dry a little bit longer. And then this is his powder that we rarely use. Um, this is I think his uh, nose stuff. Um, I don't use it much but you know. These are some of his toys that we give to him when we are changing his diapers. So. <laughs> Um, and these are just some of the ointments that we use. This is Aquaphor, Desitin, his nail clippers, and other stuff. Um, right here we have the water rice. We use the water rice from Amazon. I have the subscribe and save on, so I get it delivered every three months, which is very easy and so good. Um, next, I also have some uh, birth cloths right here. We don't use these for like their purpose anymore, but you know, it's just nice to have them when we're out and about. And again, we have some more birth cloths. <laughs> Um, and after that the second um, drawer is kind of empty like I said this was a situation in the other drawer and it was so big that it was just underutilized so I'm going to figure out a better organization for this drawer um, but yeah these are going to be his seasonal clothes this one is full of stuff that he is not using anymore I need I need to put them in boxes and store them away or maybe give them away I don't know, you know. Anyway, these are all of his um, swaddles and a few um, blankets. And then the last drawer has the stuff that is maybe extra or we're just not using right now. Put the dresser in here, put the TV on, still need to add the wire wires here. My husband is gonna do that. Now I have some space to actually like decorate. Um, I'm also going to put the printer somewhere else and take this table, I don't know where, maybe in my guest room, my office space, or uh, maybe downstairs. I don't know, we'll see. So I just got back from the groceries and uh, I'll, I wanted to do a quick little haul for you guys. Um, this is kind of the grocery that we are going to use up for the whole week. It looks like a lot but um, I'm hoping that we are able to finish it because I'm really focusing more on new planning now. Um, so first up we have some chicken breast and chicken drumsticks. 
so chicken breast I am going to so these the so this has like two chicken breasts uh, so I'm going to marinate them in two different flavors and then we are going to grill it tomorrow and uh, just keep it in the fridge for using it with our bowls with our protein bowls buddha bowls or just salads um, then we have chicken drumstick chicken drumstick Neil eats almost every day at lunch he really likes different um, marinades with chicken drumstick so this is for him and it's also really handy when um, we want to whip up something quick for our dinner and then we have some English cucumber it is seedless so I like having those with our salads or just giving it to Neil uh, we have some red bell we have one green bell pepper because I already have one more in the fridge and then one red bell pepper some jalapenos lemon avocados um, oranges feta cheese can you tell I love feta cheese <laughs> A lot of these um, some mozzarella broccoli uh, baby arugula parsley um, bananas apples orzo onions I got the combination of red and yellow uh, you know they give you different flavors in your salads or um, just different recipes um, I got two different types of um, potatoes so these are just normal potatoes and these are like different um, like the colored ones they just look really pretty in your salads um, so I have those and then I have tomatoes, uh, some Roma tomatoes here and then some cherry and grape tomatoes right here, um, some mint, um, eggs, oh and then we have got, and then we have got some, uh, no I already, okay, <laughs> I'm confused. So we have two um, canned chickpeas and one cannellini beans, I already have one more in our pantry so I didn't need more of this. Okay, it is the next day now and since I had to shoot some content, I decided to shower and get ready in the morning so I do not have to deal with or worry about getting ready and putting my makeup on later in the day. I got all ready because I do have to shoot some content and it did get a little bit late than I was thinking it will be but it's fine I am ready so um, I just shot one reel for my Instagram and now I'm going downstairs for chopping all the veggies and everything but I wanted to show you guys how the dresser looks in like daylight because, because I'm actually loving the whole vibe in this corner I mean obviously a lot of decor and everything still needs to go up um, this room is nowhere near complete but I feel like this dresser really does go well and I'm we are also thinking about like making over this dresser with like maybe the dowels on this but um we'll see how that goes but as of right now i kind of like this corner so the first salad here is greek orzo salad i am first heating some water for cooking orzo and while that is cooking i am going to chop the rest of the ingredients so i have cucumber cherry tomatoes bell pepper and onion I was ordering but this is actually giant <laughs> so I put everything in this container so it was ready for us to eat whenever we were going to eat it in the next week next up is the Mediterranean bean salad I chopped up cucumbers onions and parsley for bean I had a can of cannellini beans that I was going to add right before we ate so I didn't really do much to it
Next, I started marinating the chicken with some olive oil, oregano, cayenne pepper, Mediterranean herbs, and garlic, and grill it outside. And while the chicken was cooking, I chopped the veggies for my Greek chicken salad. done and prepped, I put them in separate containers for every day and put them in the fridge for the week. get my schedule sorted and planned out for the next week so before I headed to bed I sat at my desk for about 10-15 minutes straightening out my agenda and my to do's for the upcoming week enjoyed this productive weekend reset routine this is something that i try to do every weekend the menu and the recipes they obviously keep changing sometimes i just do indian recipes sometimes it's like an italian week so it's a lot of spaghetti and pasta all right i'll see you guys next week bye